Lord, you are the one who's given my life a meaning. Oh, you are my God. You are the one. You are the one who's given my life a meaning. Oh. Lord, you are my God, you are the one. Praise God. Is of the spirit, not the mind. Is of the spirit, not the mind. No, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John chapter verse 24 St. John chapter 4 verse 24 it says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth is another order is a law praise God first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Say, I am not a carnal man. I am not a carnal man. So, meaning you are not if you are is only ordinary people the natural the natural men are the people that don't walk by the spirit because jesus the bible said god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth so the natural man according to first corinthians 2 verse 14 says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of god for they are foolishness it sounds foolishness in the ears of the natural man if you're like that don't be like that neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned this is because christianity is beyond the senses the lack of understanding of this truth accounts for the frustrations many experience in their faith work today god contacts your spirit your spirit if god wants to get in touch with you he talks to you spirit to spirit because god is a spirit and not through your mind god is not interested in contacting you are the one that will control your mind and um if God wants to talk to us, he talks to us through the spirit. Faith emanates from your spirit and not your mind. So faith is a response of the human spirit to the word of God. It has nothing to do with the senses, the natural senses. Our senses weren't designed to perceive God. We walk with him from our spirit. It's a spirit to spirit connection and we serve him with our spirit and understand spiritual realities through the spirit of God that is at work in us. Through our spirit, praise God. Our minds weren't fashioned for that. Only our spirit that relates with God. Praise God. It's only our spirit that relates with God. That's why the Bible said to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life. Praise God. And then based on that relationship, we condition our minds from our spirit to go in the same direction and control our senses to serve our purpose, our God-given purpose. Praise God. That means the character that we express outwardly will always be dependent on the condition of our spirit, who we are inside. 
Praise God. That's why we need the Spirit of God to guide us from within. You, you cannot say that you can't do without the Spirit of God. You need the Spirit of God to live. Without the Spirit of God, we can't do anything. We can't walk in the life of faith. We can't walk in the faith work that God has in stock, that God has ordained for us. Praise God. So, like I said, that's why we need the Spirit of God to guide us from inside, from within, because He alone can get deep into the human spirit, into the human nature, and effect the changes of what God wants to see in us. Praise God. There is so much God wants to do through our lives. There is so much God wants to do in us and through us, and He can only communicate with us through his spirit, through the spirit, spirit to spirit contact. So changes in terms of growth and development can only happen when you always key into the spirit, when you always uh, make spiritual connection and communicate to God. And when you communicate, you're listening. You are also being talk, spoken to uh, by God, giving your attention to the to the things of God, to the word of God, because the word of God is truth and life. God talks to us through his word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what would you do? Like I said, you have to give attention to the ministry of the spirit by studying God's word, by fellowshipping with God. In spirit and in truth, because the Bible said God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. St. John chapter 4, verse 24. So he alone can guide our minds towards God. God alone, the spirit of God, is there to guide our minds, think towards God. It guides our mind to do the things that are pleasing towards God. It's not as though um uh, you know, it's not, it's not as though we don't um, stumble in life, you know, it's God's desire to always dust his children up, to dust us up. God wants you to dust yourself up and, so that you can function according to his will for your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like I said, he alone can guide our minds to think towards God, think like God and to think from God. That's he, you are to think from God's perspective when you yield yourself to the entrance of God's word. This and communicates, you know, pray in the Holy Ghost. You are activating the the spirit of God to walk in you, to talk to you. You to you are activating yourself, sorry, to think like God and to walk in the ways of the Lord and in his purpose for your life. Praise God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the entrance of your word. Thank you, Lord, for now we are aware that it's our lives are lived by the spirit and not by the mind, not by our ancestry perceptions. So you are to live from within. The within talks about the spirit, spirit connection, not the mind connection. Praise the Lord, because once you are walking in the in line of God's will for your life, what we will do, the spirit's of God in you, your spirit will condition your mind into doing what's right before God. And that's the way to please God. You can't please God by walking in your senses. It's not possible. So we condition our minds from our spirit to go in the direction and control our senses to serve our purpose here on earth. Praise God. That means the character that we express outwardly will always be dependent on the condition of our spirit, who we are inside. Praise God. That's why we need the spirit of God to work in us in order for us to live the kind of life that God has predestined for us to live here on earth. So the Spirit of God guides us from within because He alone can get deep into the human nature to effect the changes that God wants in us. 
changes in terms of growth and development. Praise the Lord. Changes in terms of the way we relate to life. We, we do things in the life, in world, in this life, through the inspiration of God's Spirit. The Bible says, it is God that is at work in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasures. Uh, it is the Spirit of God that is working in us, that activates us to do the extraordinary, to live the life of supernatural. The, when you are always when you're always in contact in, from your spirit to God's spirit, you will find out that you'll be living a life of supernatural. The supernatural will dominate your natural life and you will start thinking like God. You'll start talking like God. You will start acting like God. Jesus said those things that he did, he will do much more. And you can only but do them through the spirit of God when you are in contact, when your spirit is in connection with God's spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he alone can guide our minds to think towards God, think like God, and to think from God. You know, you this Holy Spirit of God will guide our mind when you have him in you. And, you, and how can you activate the Holy Spirit of God? By speaking unknown tongues, by giving attention to the word of God, by studying and meditating on God's word, by fellowshipping with God, like worshipping, praising God. You are, you know, when you lift up your hands in worship, a lot happen. You are give say your lordship, Lord Jesus. The spirit of God it will be activated in your inner man. That's your spirit man. So it will help you to now get into contact with the spirits of God. You know, your spirit will make spirit to spirit connection with God. Oh, God's will for your life. You will hear God talking to you. The more you are always exercising yourself in the Holy Ghost praying, making, singing songs of melodies unto God, you will notice that you will keep growing in faith because this is the will of God concerning your life. Praise the Lord. I pray for you that the Lord's Spirit will be activated in you as you give attention to his word from now henceforth and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You will move your life will move from glory to glory you will keep blazing all the way in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you heavenly father for the entrance of your world has made us perfect in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you for listening thank you for watching up to this point thank you thank you i'm more than happy to have you in my channel and i hope you have subscribed thank you like and share god bless you bye